custom content creator Arnie has been working on a farming custom content pack, mod, pack, whatever you want to call it, for like the last, I don't know, I feel like it's been like six months. It could be even more. And I have been so excited for this. This is the same mother who created Brook Heights. And I personally have been wanting a farming pack for a very long time in The Sims 4. So I am so excited to watch this trailer. Let's check it out. Oh my gosh, it's a whole world. Why do I feel so emotional? My name is Dawn, and this is Eden Hills. My wife Adele and I met in this town a very long time ago. We would play near the farms in the countryside, running around our favorite chickens, and hugging the sheep as if they were fluffy pillows. Oh my god. We completely fell in love, and we promised each other that we would have a farm of our own one day. Once young adults, we got married at the Love Temple. We got our farmhouse, started to build a windmill. Oh my gosh! Took care of our first pigs, ducks, rabbits. Oh! Everything was like we always imagined. Oh my gosh! It was the most beautiful, simple life one could ever dream of. But one day, uh -oh. a terrible fire burnt it all. <gasps> we thought we lost everything. She was destroyed and couldn't imagine this future anymore. That's so sad. I couldn't let that happen. So I got a loan at the bank in town. Oh! And came home with a horse. Oh, what? Made her smile to the stars and beyond. She was always talking about horses when we were kids. And now that we had one, she started to dream again. <laughs> oh my gosh! Holy moly! Life went by. We got new animals, bought new crops, grateful of what the earth gave us. We reached the peak of our dream, just like we promised each other. Chickens! Owner. Oh. Oh, that's so sad. My heart. Oh, this is really emotional. I thought our dream was over. But now that I saw these kids on the hills, I can't help but tell myself, what if? What if someone else can live this dream? Then maybe it would last forever. Oh! <laughs> Holy moly! I am absolutely blown away by this. This is a mod. How the heck did they pull that off? That is the most beautiful trailer. Oh my gosh. I am blown away by this. It's so legit. So this was built from Brindleton Bay but it's obviously been changed up and it's all about farming. Uh, so it looks like you'll be able to move here and look at all these crops. We got this guy who made all of us cry. Like, look how good this is, how? And the swing, so cute. And okay, so there's crops, okay. Windmill, the windmill's beautiful in the background and moving chickens and a coop so cool and i love how this is like old movie style it's really awesome sheep sheep what the heck they look like max's match how did they pull that off how did they animate these look at it i'm blown away okay what is this this is building the windmill. Oh, so this is the animation from rocket ships, I think. Maybe you build your windmill. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. This 
This is so cute. <laughs> And the animation of it rolling. The ducks, cute. Oh, the dust bunnies are actual bunnies. This would have been from the dust bunny, right? That's clever. I love seeing the dust bunnies come to life. This is cool. So grocery stores. <gasps> so you can buy produce. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. Look at the Buzz Lightyear in the background and the Pikachu. <laughs> And it looks like maybe you can have your own store and sell all of your produce. Cows! Those look really good as well. They look so legit. The animation's really good. Tra Stop it. Is he driving that tractor? Is he driving the tractor? I think he's riding over his crops, but it's okay. I think he can drive the tractor. Oh my God, this is- <gasps> Look at the little calf. Look at this little shady one over here. That would be me if I was a cow. This was so emotional. That's really nice animation too. Look how good this is. Oh, wow. I reckon that's like, if you do have the job of building your windmill, maybe that's when it's like half built. I can't believe this. So then they said you can go get a loan from the bank. Horsey! That is so impressive. Like, that's a horse. That really does look like a horse to me. Like that is a definite horse. And the movement and animation's really good too. The tractor, oh my gosh. Oh, look at the sprinklers. <gasps> Car. So what are these? So these are, this is clever because this was the gutter thing from Get to Work that they've now put along the ground and put sprinklers on, I think. At least that's what it reminds me of. Maybe it's not. Cow. It is so cinematic. I, I can't believe this is made by a modder. Look at all, look at them in their little paddock. So cute. The plane going by. Also side note, the train painting's really, really quite nice. <gasps> horse riding! Bareback horse riding, holy moly. You can horse ride! Oh look, there's even the, the horseshoe. Why do horses wear horseshoes? Look at those booties pop. Having horses is one thing, getting the Sims to ride on them bareback is another thing. Like that, that's amazing. Oh, and then we go back to this cut scene, which is really, really cute. Chickens! Oh, and then this is the sad part. No! Damn it. I hate it when that happens. <gasps> I love this shot. Like just the lighting and production of this trailer. What the heck? It's, and like the light shine on his glasses. It's so impressive. Oh my God. The Sims 4 Farmland is coming out June 24 for early access. So if you are joined to Arnie's Patreon and get early access, and I will of course be playing it because I have been wanting to see farming in The Sims forever. It's also very interesting. We did get a sneak peek. Some people were sent postcards in the mail, like legitimate postcards. So this is the postcard that some game changes were sent. And it says, greetings from Henford on Badgley on the front. And then you can see there's this beautiful like vista in the background. So a new world. And then on the back of the postcard, it says, Dearest friends, we are so pleased you're joining us in Henford on Badgley. I'm sure you will enjoy the quaint countryside life. Do come visit us at our garden stall when you arrive. A and A Crumple Bottom. So if you're a big fan of Crumple Bottom like myself, I'm excited. I want her to slap me with her handbag. Mrs. Crumplebottom was in The Sims 1 and she would like hit you with her handbag. It was so funny. P.S. I heard the mayor talking about a worldwide tourism video for Henford on Badgley premiering June 10 at 8 a.m. PT on their YouTube channel. For The Sims. So that's going to be obviously a teaser or a trailer at that time. I mean, you could deduce that this is potentially a farming pack, which is really interesting because the modder has created a farming pack. So I don't know, tea time anyone, tea time? Let's have a read of Sims 4 Farmland, which is Arnie's pack, the modded 
pack coming out. The theme of this pack is, you guessed it, farming. It contains a new semi-open world, new animals, gameplay, and even a story mode. So when you get it, there'll be a bit of a story to follow. I assume maybe there's a few challenges you have to complete. And semi-open world, meaning like you don't have to go through loading screen, scro screens. You don't have to go through loading screens. Loading screens for a lot of it. Screens, screens. Um, follow George's footsteps and build the biggest farm you could ever dream of. He will help in this wonderful adventure, becoming a farmer in Eden Hills. A new semi-open world that is going to replace a neighborhood of your game called Sable Square in Brindleton Bay. <gasps> this is where Eden Hills is going to be. You still have five lots in the world, visible from the map view. So there'll still be these lots that work exactly like you would expect them to. But there is now a huge open area around these lots filled with special locations that I call open venues. Oh, so maybe like the bank and stuff you can go to, maybe the windmill, I don't know, your farmland, the farms and fields. This huge area gives you enough space to create and build up your farming activities. This open area is bigger than, holy, this open area is bigger than five entire 64 by 64 lots combined together. You'll be able to grow some crops and raise animals in the area. This area is divided into pieces of land you can buy to expand your farm. The farmer's market is the best place for you to sell your fresh produce. It's also a nice place to socialize with friends and family and even buy what the other townies crafted themselves. Go to the supermarket to purchase everything you need for your daily activities. You need fresh vegetables, rare seeds, toys for the kids. That's the place to be. You can even sell your own produce at the supermarket on one of the display counters. The city hall is a very useful place to deal with all your administrative tasks. You can vote for the neighborhood action plans there, find work or even register for a farmer's license. The graveyard! A quiet place where your sims can rest after they pass away. Great views on the mountains and the countryside. Cheap rent. Totally recommend. <laughs> With a new farming and gardening skill. Sweet. And the farmer aspiration. Buy pieces of land step by step to expand the area of your farm up to the size of five entire 64 by 64 lots. So it looks like you'll get like your first 64 lot and then you can get a loan for the next one and pay it off, et cetera, et cetera. Grow the plants you want to have in a large scale and use the tractor to help you plant them all at once. Oh my gosh, cool. You can then sell all the products from your inventory directly at the farmer's market or at the supermarket. You can take care of an unlimited amount of animals. Oh my gosh and give a unique name to each one of them. All species provide a produce to collect. The early access will start on June 25th. Two weeks after that, it will be publicly available. Very interesting tea. Modded farm pack and then official Sims countryside, potentially farmish pack. Go winky dink, I'll leave that up to you. That is honestly so incredible though.